and say B-Day. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Last week, our theater class competed in one-act plays. They did really well. That's awesome. Check this out. I am Brigitte Kenna. Uh, I am Jared Valadez, and I played Levin and Anna Kronenow. We did our UIL one act play. Um, I think the journey getting there was very uh, fun and very memorable. It was probably our best performance. I know the judges didn't really like it just because it wasn't like the, it wasn't like a traditional UIL show, and so they didn't really like that. But I don't know for us personally, we did really great. The results were the results, and you know I'm not that upset anymore. But it was a fun time. And how do you think the next one will be? I'm hoping for the best. I think it's gonna be really great. I'm, it's gonna be really sad because it's like because it's never gonna be like the same group of people. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping for the best, and I think it'll be really awesome. I have high hopes. Uh, I really think next time we can do better and improve a lot, and I'm really excited for what's the future to come. I think I like competing just because um, for theater, a lot of the times you don't really get to compare yourself to other schools because normally it's just like poor performances and stuff. But like this time, it's like an actual like school versus school type of thing. Getting all the energy inside and just putting it out there, you know? It's like a paintbrush full of paint and just splattering it on, like, on the canvas. And it's, uh, I mean, like, it's pretty, it's pretty much art, man. It's... That is so cool. Congrats to everyone who competed. Speaking of competition, it wasn't much of one for a Lady Lobo soccer team last Friday. We won 8 nothing against it. Here are the highlights. This week we wanted to highlight a teacher's class and what they are doing in that class. Who are we looking at today? Miss Garrett. She teaches English. I've heard so many good things about her. Check out what she's been doing in a class. Hi, I'm Heather Garrett. Uh, I teach uh, English 2, uh, pre-AP English 2 uh, for the most part, although I have taught on level and pre-AP. Uh, I've been teaching here at LEHS for three years. I've been teaching for a total of six years. Okay. Um, there was the How to Be project. The oh, the debates were really good. Um, Socratic seminars are always great. We've had several of those. Uh, oh, the uh, the mock trial. The mock trial is always fun. Um, right now, they're about to uh, work on a project. For, uh, for their books that they're reading in book clubs, and uh, they will be doing that. And then we get to do Othello, which is my favorite part of the year. I loved your class. That was so uplifting. You know what else is uplifting? What? Our girls' powerlifting team. We have three girls going to stay in Waco on March 22nd. That's awesome. Who are they? Melissa Ocasio, Cameron Hernandez, and Haley Kolarek. Let's get to know them some more. Well, my name is Cameron Hernandez. I'm a senior here at LE, and um, we're going to state for powerlifting. Hi, I'm Melissa Cassio. I'm a senior at Little High School. Um, I'm also going to state this year. And um, um, I mean, whenever I first started powerlifting, I was I mean, before I even heard about it. I was in eighth grade, <clears throat> and the art teacher, he was the coach over here. And he knew my brother, so he reached out to me, and he was talking to me about, hey, you should join powerlifting. I was like, okay. And I tried out, and I mean, we've tried to like kind of spread the word on social media and stuff. I think it, it's pretty cool because it's like girls don't get a lot of recognition being strong and all that, so it's like, well, like she's pretty strong. It's a very technical process yeah. if you think about it because a lot of people are like, oh, you just go and lift weights. Now it's you have a lot of equipment, you have some very big expense, and you have suit, and your body goes through a lot of hardships, and it's very yeah. hard on you, but it's motivation. But I feel like that's what makes powerlifting so much more interesting. It makes 
wanting to participate even more fun because you take time out of your day. Like we wake up and get here around 6 a.m. every morning and we work out. It's a different environment for sure. It's a very unique process pushing yourself to that limit and it kind of drives, like for me personally, it yeah. drives me to, to actually be better in this list. I think our girls are molded that way. So we, um, we've grown up together. Our seniors, we have like a core five system that we've been living since freshman year together. Um, and we actually all make regionals, which is pretty cool. Um, and just staying together, we, we get that confidence boost. And it pushes us to go harder. It's like our team is, it's one of the teams, it's one of those sports that's not even a team sport. So it's, right. we're a team, but we're, it's an individual sport. So it's kind of like a track. Like, yeah, like you compete individually, but I'm still going to be cheering for Exactly, I'm still going to be cheering for like my sisters. We got, we're a family, so. I've definitely found families in the sports that I play, and piloting was definitely something that helped me to not only meet new records and challenge myself in different aspects, but I've become a better person for sure. Mm -hmm. I've made family. Powerlifting State is March 21st, and it's in Waco, and it's a bit of a drive, but it's definitely really exciting. Um, on Twitter, you can follow our powerlifting page at Ellie underscore powerlifting. Uh, we'll post updates of our squads, bench and deadlift, so you can follow us. Hey everyone, guess what? Spring break is this weekend. Yes, I am so excited. Do you have any plans? Color guard stuff. We perform next Saturday at the UNT Coliseum. Also, I need to work on my film for Film Fest. Film Fest? What's that? In the AV class, we're making films and we will premiere those films at Flicks Brew House on April 21st. That's so cool! Sure is. And stay tuned, Lobos, because we will need your help deciding which trailers are the best. I can't wait for that. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe all our videos for live updates, sports, and everything else. Have a